Goel. It's a small state. It's considered to be a very developed state. You pass through the villages rather quickly. In every village you find a community health center or some sort of dispensary. I met with a friend, Dr. Anita. It's one of the most developed states. What does that mean in terms of health? Because it is such a developed state, like you said, we also have the problems of urbanization of the first world country. So we have a lot of uh, diabetes, increasing diabetes. We have breast cancer, I think it's the highest in India. One in eight women in Goa have breast cancer. Uh, we have cardiovascular diseases. So we are seeing alcohol, drugs. We are seeing these problems that rural India might not see. But in rural areas, we are seeing tuberculosis, malnutrition. We are seeing that as well. And Anita was telling me that they have hired Ayurvedic doctors, homeopathic doctors, who are also now part of the teams, the health teams that actually go out on mobile clinics to rural parts of Goa. So this project is mostly running because uh, there is nothing nearby available or here. So we go to the remote places, we give them a basic treatment and whenever there are chronic cases and all, we refer them to the PHCs which are nearby to that particular village. The last few days, as with the days before we got to Goa, a lot of tourists cycling. Yesterday we met two cyclists from Switzerland who were cycling from Calicut all the way to Mumbai. And today we bumped into a Slovenian cyclist who was cycling from Mumbai all the way to Kanyakumari. So it seems to be a very popular route for tourists to bike. It's beautiful, the views are spectacular. It was surprising to see that even in South Canada, many households still did not have drinking water, did not have toilets. This is an area which the country needs to address because it has huge implications on health of people. I met about 30, 35 women in a place called Shirali near Bhatkal. Very nice, very uh, fun bunch talking about their problems accessing healthcare to government clinics and especially at the primary level. Cycling up to Manipal from Bramawar, the landscape looked completely different. First of all, the highways have come in. A backwater university village has been transformed into a bustling town. Manipal, I spent uh, most of the 80s in Manipal. I started my studies there in 1980. The university itself has expanded greatly. A lot of new departments, a lot of new schools. All in all, a completely transformed uh, place. I couldn't find my way around in the beginning, but then of course you start recognizing familiar places. I've spent a lot of time here, probably more time here than attending lectures, talking about people's love lives and uh, occasionally crying over it. Now that is the physio block and of course uh, physiology lectures were the first thing in the morning. So we used to wake up, run in our pajamas, uh, of course wear the white coat on top of it, and then uh, come to lecture so that uh, we can make it in time. The reception and the welcome that I received in Manipal was just stupendous. The university went out of its way to make me feel very welcome. After the lecture, I was handed with an envelope and it was announced that I was now adjunct professor. It felt nice to be welcomed back in Manipal. They hosted me and uh, conferred me with the Distinguished Alumnus Award. So a very full and very emotional day in Manipal.
ಅಕ್ಷರ 